whole thing is a spoiler. <laughs> Just one thing's clear. So today I will be reviewing Us. It's theme heavy and uh, the themes have a lot to do with the plot. So if you don't want the movie Us to be spoiled for you, just wait till you watch the movie and then watch this. <laughs> I never did a review on Get Out. I have a high opinion of Get Out, but it's not as high as everybody else's. But I had pretty high expectations. When I watched the trailer for Us, it seems like a very sort of straightforward home invasion movie with a twist in that it's them, it's us, you know. That changes pretty quickly. The creepy family shows up and then almost, I wanna say 10 minutes later, we're getting thrown into a whole other plot. This is happening to everyone. Everybody is getting invaded and being murdered or people trying to murder them who look just like them. One of my favorite parts in the movie is uh, Elizabeth Moss and Tim Heidecker play a couple, they're friends of the lead couple. They drink too much. They're both kind of jackasses. Hey, I think it's vodka clock. They're just sort of pompous. The first family, the Wilsons, are on the run now. So you're thinking, oh, okay, they're gonna go to their friend's house and that's why we're in this house now with this family. Out of nowhere, one of their daughters is standing up on the balcony and behind her is her and just stabs her right in the neck. Bam, this is happening everywhere. Like, none of the living dead zombies everywhere. Shook the entire audience. Nobody expected it. It was an awesome jump scare. A word on jump scares in this movie. I've said this before. When you watch a lot of horror movies, you can kind of like point out exactly when the jump scares are going to happen. And that sort of, I mean, I don't think I actually jumped at any of the jump scares. And there were a couple of them where nobody jumped in the audience. It was just kind of silent. Some of them are like cued with music. Jordan Peele's eye his directing style. He's got a very a very specific sense of what he likes and why he's doing what he's doing in his films. And I think Get Out's message was clear as bell. It was very obvious what he was trying to say. Us had the clear directing style, all of the wonderful, beautiful things that Get Out had as far as the directing is concerned, but the message was a little muddled. My main issue with this is, is just it's the plot. It's the plot, it's the plot, it's the plot, or the lack thereof. The plot gets very sci-fi in that there are doubles made of people. They're made by the government, and they're forced to live underground, but they share the same soul. But they move around and act and respond to things that their doubles are doing above ground, having a normal life. At one point, Lupita Nyong'o's character dances, and the one below sort of flops around grotesquely like she's dancing, but in a scary way. There are people above ground on a roller coaster, and then below ground you see them standing in a line reacting like they're on a roller coaster. There's a scene showing Lupita as a little girl. Her dad gets her a thriller shirt, and then below ground, her double gets like a raggedy old looking thriller shirt. It's, it's a little goofy, but I get what he was going for, you know. And eventually they have a revolution where they want to take down the people above ground. For some reason they have to eat rabbits? That was a thing? There's a lot of rabbits in this underground lair. In fact, the whole opening credits, which are beautiful and lovely, and I loved them, is just a slow pan out of a wall of rabbits. Really long take. And so they're pissed because they're eating raw rabbit and being thrown around because their bodies above or whatever they're doing. They come above and kill their doubles and essentially... You don't know why the government is doing it other than to control people, but like you never see that happening. And then you see the, the doubles moving around doing what their doubles are doing above, but then you also see them not. Can they turn that off? It's very strange. It's so thin, it's so loose. There was no explanation given to why these people existed, really why they existed, and really what their plan was once they killed everybody above ground. Honestly, what they were doing was creating a chain, a hand-in-hand -hand chain, just like the commercial in the beginning, across the world. The movie opens up with a series of television commercials from the 80s. Hands Across America? Hands Across America? I think that's what it was called. It was this thing that happened in the 80s. People formed a line 
holding hands across the country to raise money for charity. What are you doing? Like, it's just like, what, what's your, what's the plan? I'm overthinking it maybe because of Get Out social context. I'm thinking us has to have that same sort of social context, but maybe it doesn't. A lot of the main themes were sort of holding up a mirror. We are our own worst enemies. And I think it had a lot to do with complacency in America. You see less fortunate people all the time and you just are sort of trained. We're all trained to just walk right past it because there's nothing we can do. He makes it pretty clear right from the start in the prologue, I guess you would call it, that it's looking at yourself and what you can do or what you don't do to help other people. We find out at the end of the movie, Lupita, I can't remember her name in the movie. Adelaide Wilson. That we've been following the whole time, trying to protect her family, is actually the double. And when she was a little girl and she went into the fun house of mirrors, she got pulled in and taken by her double and her double left her there and took her life basically became her. She became her. And so this evil Lupita is actually the real Adelaide whose life was stolen from her. But you're on the double Lupita's side because she's a good mom. She's a good person. You like her. You understand her. But then you also start to understand the other one too. Her life was stolen from her. She didn't get to have the nice, happy life. She didn't get to have the nice, happy husband and the nice, happy children. She got monsters for children, a horrible husband. Someone took it from her. By the end of it, you're almost rooting for, you are rooting for the bad guy. And I think that goes back to holding a mirror up to yourself and going like, what makes a villain? What makes a hero? What makes somebody do something terrible and what makes them do something good? We all have our reasons for doing things. Heroes and villains, it's not black and white like that. Everybody is a multidimensional person. I really, really had to think about it. And that's okay. Movies should make you think. So that's why we consume art is to make ourselves think. I mean, I guess a lot of art is there because we want to turn our brains off. But that's not why you go see a Jordan Peele movie. If you've seen Get Out, you should know that. So I commend him for that, making me think and making me try to figure out what the movie was truly about. But at the same time, that's also very frustrating for an audience member. It was very frustrating for the people I saw the movie with. It was a very vocal audience, and there was a lot of, what the fuck? What is happening? What is this? What's going on? That's not a good way to make your audience feel for the majority of the film. I'm more than halfway for this movie. I think this movie's more than halfway good. It's just too many questions. There are too many questions in this movie for me to fully enjoy it. It is a real beautiful piece of art, but it lacks substance, and so it can't be more than that. I'm going to give us a 6 out of 10. Um, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe and comment. Comment. Let me know how you feel about us if you've seen it. Let me know if you're excited to see it or not, and let me know how you feel about Get Out. Thanks. Don't, I haven't, I haven't quite Alice in Wonderland. I just made that connection. I don't know if that's a real connection, but maybe that has something to do with it. Since Lupita as a little girl finds herself in a labyrinth of mirrors and essentially goes through the looking glass. Could be a thing.